Hello, welcome back. Another box set. Third in a row, I think. <laughs> box set time, you might say. But hey, why not? Box sets are something extremely beautiful, extremely cool. I really do love it. And today we talk about another and another uh, Vinyl Me Please anthology box set. The story of Philadelphia International Records. I hope you can, yeah, you can see it probably. Yet again, extreme high quality box set. Those, those box sets are crafted really, really well. They ship them very seriously, very well packed. Packed, so everything is great that these beauties, beauties arrive safely. And then let's look a bit into the future for a second. They've already announced a Willie Nelson box set. Let's see how that comes out. Again, through like like the Quincy Jones or or the Herbie Hancock, where they go through decades, which which isn't a bad thing in a way. And of course, they announced an impulse. And I, oh, 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 they didn't announce it. It's rumored because they, I think over Instagram, they made some pictures. It's rumored that they are on, in, on an impulse box set, which of course would be quite huge. That would be, would be a big, a big thing. Yeah, but now back, back to this Philadelphia International Rec Records box set. The package has everything you might want as an audiophile. The albums, the eight albums are <clears throat> mastered triple A, AAA, all analog by nobody less than Mr. Bernie Grundman. <clears throat> and they are pressed over at RTI. So this time no GZ pressing, although I don't have any problems with the GZ uh, 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 at the moment, but of course pressed over at RTI. And the result is what a great sounding funk, soul, soul funk, disco, bluesy, all eight albums outstanding outstanding i mean those anthology box set they are sometimes so great story of the tribe records vanguard those are iconic releases in my opinion opinion in, in in most cases especially when they do this all analog stuff and and do it so well like they are doing it here I wouldn't, I don't need those color, color variant, variants, but okay, come on, if they sound great, it looks, it looks quite stylish sometimes on your record uh, table, nothing more, nothing less. So really, really happy with, with, with this release and um, the downside at the moment, it's sold out. They've done, they've done 1000 copies, numbered copies so far, but don't panic. <laughs> I, I know you won't, but but they will repress them. I think if you are interested, there will be some represses eventually, and so you you might sometime you will get your uh, uh, copy if you want, or go over at Discogs. The prices are reasonable right now. I think I think it's not, it hasn't raised, risen uh, much. Maybe ten dollars or something like that. So, uh, for for a cl uh, for a, 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 a non-opened copy, of course. So it's it's okay. It's 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 doable right now. It comes, of course, with our notorious booklet. And and finally, me please really has an extremely professional and talented design department. They are really doing those booklets quite cool. Not bad at all. Very well made. Now let's go through the content, through the records. 
and we are really up for some beautiful jackets, some beautiful cover designs. One of my favorite is here, let's clean up the ghetto, the Philadelphia International All-Stars. Beautiful cover art. Of course, once more, the, the jacket quality is outstanding. In this case, and that's why I kept it, kept them, they gave us some printed inner sleeve, uh, also polylined, which is the same on every record. Just let me put it away. And of course, we got our color variants here. Transparent blue, but once more, uh, really beautiful check. Then we, ha we have the OJ's Backstabbers. Color vinyl. I think we only have one gatefold, but so what? MFSB, love is the message. The message is love. Of course, red colored vinyl. Great. Great jacket again, great cover again. Leon Huff, here to create music. And of course, Orange. Probably has a completely uh, different name, probably something like uh, California Sunset or something like that. But I call it simply Orange. Beautiful. Wake Up Everything, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. Cover I do not like, by the way. What do you think? Dexter Wenzel, Life on Mars. Typical cover jacket for the time. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Surprise, blue. 360 degree of Billy Paul featuring me and Mrs. Jones. Cool cat. Color variant. And last but for sure not least, the three degrees. I have to show it this, but I show it. And here we have our gatefold. So that's it for the Philadelphia International Records Anthology box set and what I know of these, this label, Philadelphia International uh, uh, label, they could fill another box set. And if they deliver us same quality, it's a no-brainer for me because, you know, this is the kind of music once more which comes too short when it comes to audiophile releases. And Vinyl Me Please gives those releases to us. And, and that's a great, 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 great thing. Really happy that they give us, and they give us a lot of those titles in this quality. So keep them coming. They are very, very welcome in my case. I don't know how it is with you, but Really, that stuff I really, really dig and, and, and like. Okay, next video is not about a box set. Or maybe. No, I don't think so. Okay, thank you. Bye.